Hi everyone, this is again Belly Potents NYC. Here I wanted to show you guys how to make a quick cricket setup in order to gut feed your crickets. So basically I have a small Exoterra um, plastic casing over here. You could use any one of the plastic casings that you can buy in either Petlamp, Petco, PetSmart, etc. Basically what I usually like to do first is to put a little paper towel at the base. So I have a little pre-cut paper towel here. Sometimes what you can do is also put some of the bedding that you use inside of your reptile cages. It all depends. I like to use bounties. Um, next, I have actually a finished roll of paper towel and I will cut it up. So I will take a pair of scissors and usually I cut it up into different sizes for this particular setup. I like to make small ones so that it doesn't take up too much space. I also will put some of the unused dishes from my previous setups. Um, you can also use other um, kind of dishes, either plastic or metal. I usually like to have ones that the crickets don't need to climb up too high or sort of disappear in and get stuck because they will most likely also die. Uh, so I give them a variety of different dishes. Um, next, what I have prepared is I cut up an orange and a potato. So what I will do is I usually like to place them around the cage again as such so to give them a variety of surfaces to walk around on. Uh, I also leave a little area that is empty and that's where I sometimes put some fiber cereal or other um, dry foods. Sometimes even if I have a few pellets left from the bearded dragon food that I use for him from Reptical, uh, I, I give that to him. So. Here we go, I'll just sprinkle a little bit of this right over here into the corner. The crickets can munch on that as well. Um, also going back to the fruits, I will sometimes put them at an angle. So um, it also gives them a nice little surface, little cricket exercise. Um, then I will put the paper towel insert as such. Again, to sort of give them a variety of hideouts. And that's it. I do that enclosure, close it up. Now all I need to do is buy a nice batch of crickets. I throw them up now in here. Um, I have used sometimes a kind of bounty or paper towel again that is moistened with water. Um, I really like to give them actually a source of water through fruit or through veggies. Um, I find sometimes they do get kind of stuck and they lay a lot of eggs inside of the paper towels and just gets all messy and stinky. So this is I think the cleanest and uh, most uh, nice smelling uh, cricket setup that I have found in the past and it has worked for me well. So once again this was Billy Potence NYC with a little cr cricket setup here for you guys and it really um, creates a nice gut fed um, you know farm of crickets so that I can feed them to my reptiles. I'll keep them in this for about maybe two three days and then I'll feed them to my guys. Alright take care.